Um, so it's an application of this. And with the information that's given in the page here, you, um, you want to rewrite it. So here, um, so, you know, power is given by this formula. And I think there's a lecture video this week that does um, explain where that formula comes from. I hope all that makes sense. If not, ask me the question. And you can rewrite this expression in two different ways. Um, and both of those ways use Ohm, uh, Ohm's law. Ohm's law, which says the voltage is current times R or um, flip it around, which says current is a voltage divided by R. So you plug in either of the two into either of these two spots. When you plug in voltage, getting rid of voltage, then you get uh, power dissipated as current squared times R. Or if you plug in current, eliminating current and getting expression only in terms of voltage, then you get V squared over R. And all these three expressions are useful at different times. It kind of depends on what information are you given, what parameter is not changing. Here, you are given the resistance and voltage, or those are the related quantities and power. You are given resistance and power and you are being asked the voltage, but the quantities that are involved are V, R, and P. So looking at this, um, I guess I want to just use this expression equals P and imagine or solve it for V. When you solve it for V, you get square root of uh, power times resistance and you can plug in the numbers. So let me actually do that. Um, and uh, this is where it's really nice to work in SI units. The promise of SI units is that if you stick to SI units for power and for resistance, and you take the square, follow the formula, take the square root, then the quantity you get will be in terms of volt. So I'm not really gonna work out the units, I'm just gonna plug in the power in the unit of watt, so one half times the resistance or 14,000 ohm, 14,000. Okay, take the square root of that and that should be the voltage. So I can apply up to, um, 83.7 volts. It's actually pretty high, but yeah, I mean, it, it is pretty high, but I think it's reasonable. Um, one thing that's uh, interesting is that as this resistance gets lower, the amount of power dissipated actually goes up for the same voltage. Yeah. And you know, you can work through here to see why. It's because um, when the resistance is lower, the, the, when the resistance is lower, the current increases and, um, and yeah, 